Guys, I'm done for the day. Here are my results. As you can see here, I've got uh, two losers. One of them is Tesla, relatively small size, but uh, still is a, a loser, of course. Uh, I had Roku and SPWR as a loser. Best trade is mRNA, and uh, the rest is MTTR and OCGN. I'm up $17,000. I want to discuss a little bit my trades today. So let's take a look here. You've got uh, all my trades in front of your start with SPWR, which was a loser. Now, when you have a gap and go, like a big gap in SPWR, because that's what we had today, uh, then the stock started, as you can see here, with a gap down and initially just kept moving lower. You don't take a trade when you don't have a pullback. Then came the pullback after it moved higher and then came down. So the entry was right. A big gap down, a huge gap down, and then you short it but it does not always do well. You know, trades don't do, um, even if I'm right and if I'm taking the right trade, I just don't succeed more than, well, my average is 68%. So SPWR is one of these stocks that just didn't move. Now take a look at mRNA because it's similar, but it did work out. You see, it started by coming down very strong and then pulled back up and then at the pullback shorted it and it moved under the lows. That was a beautiful gap and go. So mRNA worked out fine and you will find more than, I don't know, 60 something percent of the stocks um, doing the same thing. The fact that it started moving higher later, I don't care. I moved out of the rest of my quantity, already took my partial, so it was a great trade for me. So what happens next is something that normally you shouldn't go long. But again, if you have a system that works well for you, then fine. Now take a look at OCGN. This one, unlike the others, started by moving higher, which is great because then you have a good opportunity to short it as it starts coming down. Now remember, the first move in mRNA was down. The first move in SPWR was down. First move in OCGN, although it started with a very big gap, I mean, it's down 20% right now, was up. Then you look for the pullback, you short it. In this case, my stop was over the highs. I was very, very lucky that it did not uh, get stopped and then it just crashed down. And therefore, OCGN is one of my winners. Now, take a look at MTTR. Same idea. If you look at MTTR, you can see that the stock started initially with a one minute candle down, then a pullback, then you short it on the reversal. Again, a huge gap down. You expect it to gap and go, and it did. It came under the lows. Again, the fact that it's finally decided to move higher, I don't care. The trade is all about shorting it as long as it does well. OCGN keeps coming down. That's why it's the only one in which I'm still in short. I still have some small size, just 100 shares in OCGN. So OCGN is still in the game. The rest are out. But, you know, as long as they worked out fine, that was okay. A different trade was Roku. Roku is um, one of my, also one of my winners today. If you take a look at Roku, you can see that Roku started with a very big gap down and then moved higher with a huge upside momentum. These stocks don't normally continue moving higher. At some point, you could look for a short. What would be the point to short a stock like Roku? The one I posted in the room was right over here. Why? First big move up, which, you know what? based on the way it behaves, could be a continuation, a pullback, a green candle, and a continuation. It could have continued higher. But after this green candle came a few red candles. At that point, you can see that it's rejecting, uh, it's rejecting uh, the, the, the uptrend. So that's a nice technical formation. Remember, at that point, Roku was in red territory, not as big as it was when it started out over here, but definitely in red territory, and that was the right place to short it. So Roku turned out to be a nice green trade. I, I did have a trade in Tesla, which was extremely small size. And uh, I thought, you know, when I saw Tesla coming up and I saw the way it behaved earlier, I thought maybe I could short Tesla. 
and my target was four point. It did reach my target and actually a little bit more than that. Did not take my partial because it was a bit spready and it was it just happened too quick. So, and the reason I took a very small size because I didn't really trust that trade too much. I thought it could work. It did work, but I did not manage to take my partial. And then it moved up. I had a three point stop loss and a four point target. And that was a losing trade. So anyway, you know, more winners than losers. A very nice green day. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, thank you for participating. And if you are on YouTube and you did not yet give us a like, we would really appreciate if you do that. So thank you all. I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for participating. I appreciate that. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, traders.